So from a brain point of view, the difference between a child, an adolescent, and an adult from a brain science point of view is the developmental changes that happen. So if you think about a house, a child is basically setting up the framework of the house. And the foundation is being set up, and even the walls are being set up, and you get the house. So it's basically absorbing all the information of society during childhood. But then, during adolescence, the brain begins to remodel itself in ways that shocked the scientists. Absolutely shocked them. Because the remodeling is comprised of two processes. One is called pruning where the brain is actually destroying itself on purpose. It's choosing circuits that it doesn't need any longer and carving them down like you would in a garden and pruning away circuits. So there's actually a loss of neurons with the onset of adolescence, which doesn't always correlate with puberty. That's why I'm saying they're not the same. This pruning process goes over many years and we believe it's influenced by a number of things. One is genes, so that genes determine the timing of the onset of pruning. The second thing is that if you're activating certain circuits, you'll keep them alive and growing well. So the principle that you may have heard about, use it or lose it, is very important during the adolescent period. So what adolescents do with their activities, with their time, with their interactions, with their attention, we believe will shape which circuits will remain active and therefore will remain existing. So if you're going to learn a foreign language, for example, learn before puberty starts, before adolescence begins, before this pruning process begins, so you can say, well, schools should listen to this brain science and start teaching foreign languages before high school. It doesn't really make sense to start a foreign language during high school, which is where a lot of kids are first learning foreign languages. Music, same thing. Dance, athletics. All these things should be taught earlier than they're being taught. So that's one lesson we know about the pruning process. So you see this decrease in the number of neurons and their connections. Neurons are the basic cells of the brain, synapses are their connections. But then besides the pruning, what you get is something called myelination. And the myelin is basically a healthy sheath that's laid down among connected neurons, and it allows the way they communicate with each other to increase their coordination and balance by 3,000 times. 3,000 times. So if you're a myelinated circuit, you're 3,000 times more effective than an unmyelinated circuit. And what that means basically is you're taking the remaining connections and you're making them more coordinated and balanced. And the word we use for that is integration. So if you had to say, what is the remodeling all about of this adolescent brain, is the adolescent brain is becoming actually more efficient because it's becoming more integrated. 